Hi, Ben here from Trident Fly Fishing, back with another quick take. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the all new Hardy Ultralight SR. This is Hardy's entrance into the small stream market and it's a really cool rod. Stay tuned to find out why. So while this Ultralight SR bears the Ultralight name, pick it up and right away, you'll notice a lot of changes from the standard Ultralight rods. And in fact, Hardy's packed a lot of really interesting features into this little rod. To start with, the reel seat is asymmetrical, but only slightly. You still maintain that round reel seat look, but it's got just enough asymmetry so that the ring doesn't move around on you. It's really neat. Then we've got the grip, which I feel is gonna be a little bit of a love-hate type of grip. But if you think about the usual grip on a rod like this, it's probably a cigar grip or a half wells. This grip is totally different. In the sage world, this would be considered a sort of snub-nosed half wells. But it's got this bulge here that's much bigger than on any sage rod that I've cast. You've got sort of this nice little indent for your thumb and forefinger. Really neat, functional feature for a tiny little rod. Then the rest of it is pretty much all ultralight series. Super lightweight guides, top-notch construction. And if you haven't checked out some of our longer reviews on the ultralight series, you should. Hardy is just doing an absolutely amazing job when it comes to build quality and components these days. I wanted to briefly interrupt this review to let you know that this video is supported 100% by your purchases at Trident Fly Fishing. So if you're in the market for some new tackle, check us out at tridentflyfishing.com. The other thing that you'll notice right away when you pick this rod up is that it absolutely lives up to its name and it is fantastically light. In fact, while we haven't measured it, I would be willing to bet that this is the lightest rod that we've ever reviewed bar none. And if you've been watching this channel a long time, you know that I'm a lightweight rod guy and I'm telling you that rods do not need to be lighter than this rod right here. So you know, this rod is really, really light. And now being a small stream rod, this is a seven foot three weight, and this is probably about the sweet spot in the SR lineup. It's gonna give you the most versatility all around and generally be the rod that most people gravitate to. And casting this rod, it's got a lot of range and depending on your line choice, you're gonna really be able to dial this rod in for whichever situation you'd like. It's sort of fast enough where you need it to be and slow enough at the tip where you need it to be. It's just a super, super versatile small stream rod. So we cast this with a Wolf Triangle Taper and it does a pretty good job, but that's gonna be sort of longer distance. Think spring creeks and places where you're gonna need to make slightly longer casts. On the other hand, you could take a Rio Creek, which is gonna have a really, really short head and make tiny 10, 20 foot casts with this rod. And it also does that really well. It takes that heavier line and it just loads very well on this ultralight SR. And that's gonna be a great choice for small streams here in New England, as well as those small Appalachian streams. We've reviewed a ton of small stream rods over the last year or two, as it's become a very, very popular activity. Overall, this Hardy SR is probably one of the better high-performance graphite rods in the small stream segment today. It just does everything you want it to and nothing you don't. If you have questions about this ultralight SR, don't hesitate to give us a call at 888-413-5211 or email us 24-7 at support at tridentflyfishing.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we've got some great rod reviews on the way for you. I'm Ben, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.